for 20 Things Grow in Ontario. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is the Taurus Hydro first week of use after unboxing, okay? So if you haven't seen the unboxing or the first unboxing or the second unboxing, take a peek at the channel. This is going to be a pretty in-depth look at this product. I'm going to take several readings per day uh, and show what is actually going on with the fluctuation of this product. I, it, it's There's 55 videos that I've taken over about a week, a week and a bit. Uh, and uh, yeah, you, 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 what you're going to do is you're going to see what this thing does. Okay, so uh, I definitely got two new units from the company and I've used two different reservoirs here. One of them is in my 2x4 tent and one of them is in my 5x5 five five tent. Okay, they're both in less than 30 gallons of water and these are 30 gallon units right the smaller units um i, I do both reservoirs uh in here one of them um, is full-on full-on flour and one of them is i just switched it to um flour and there were smaller plants um but holy crap did it kick the crap out of them um for that uh when i did the it brought down the uh, pH. You'll see in the video. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It is the next morning, and the Taurus Hydro's been in here for um, maybe eight hours, and it's whoa! It's already down four point five. Wow. pH up. All right, so um, I'm gonna have to add some pH up. Of this one, still dropped below the range but it's not in the fours but still i'm gonna have to add some ph up so i'll be back on thursday november 25th the next day after putting in the taurus hydro unit um last night i went to bed and the phs were what you see on the video and now they came this morning and they were up over uh, you know below the range it's one and four and one and five so this one is at six so Perfect. I'm going to be monitoring this today several times. See you then. All right. So it's been a hour or two. So already dropping some more. I'm gonna add a little bit more now, just to bring it back up a bit. So it's been a couple hours since I've adjusted the pH and it is still dropping. So I'm going to add some more pH up, get it up over this. All right, so a couple hours later, it's 1 p.m. Man, still dropping it seems like. I'm going to put some more pH up in here another time. So this will be the third time I'm putting it in. I have to try to keep it above uh, 5.8 over to the other reservoir this one's i mean same kind of time frame it's even lower so again more ph up at 1 p.m today thursday 26th of november all right ladies and gentlemen it is 4 p.m and now it's sitting up around six so perfect let's see what happens from now 4 p.m on thursday all right, ladies and gentlemen, into the 5x5 five five tent. This reservoir, uh, I've been kind of doing the same thing um, with, uh, you know, with the pH up. Uh, it's still not uh, up to 6 yet, and it's below the 5.8. Going to throw a little bit more pH up in it now at 4 p.m. on Thursday. All right, ladies and gentlemen. 8 p 8 30 p.m on uh thursday that second day and uh it is just below range 5.77 i'm gonna put some uh ph up in get it up a bit at 8 30 before i go to bed right, 8 30 on the five by five reservoir and it is also below range Quick update before bed. Let's 
6.1. Perfect. Quick update before bed. 6. 6. All right. Friday morning, the 27th of November. Oh, snap. It didn't drop like crazy. It's not in the fours. Still damn low though. Friday, November 27th. This one is dropping more than the other tent. Coming Friday, 27th of November at noon. Put the pH in this morning when I woke up because it was slightly below six. Now it's above six. Perfect. No more pH up today at noon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is noon in the 5x5 five five reservoir. This one was... Man, okay. I'm going to add some more pH up here on this one at noon. It's within range. But I want to get it just above range so that if it has done its initial downflow, uh, it'll be within the range. All right? Bye for now. Hey, right, ladies and gentlemen, back into the reservoir. It is 3.30 p.m. on Friday. Still above six, so I am not gonna add any more like I haven't added any in the last couple times. So, as you can see, the flow is flowing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 3.30, and this is the five by five tent. Man, it keeps, still, okay, so it's in range, and I added some last time. Is it gonna be in range? No, and I brought it up from, yeah, it's in range. I guess at 3.30, uh, it's, it's right at the bottom of the range. I'm gonna leave it and I'll come back in the next time. And uh, if it drops below this, any lower than this, I'll add some more pH up, but I'm gonna let it and see what happens. 3.30's update on Friday, over. All right, so it's 9 p.m. Friday the 27th, two by four tent is within range. Still no more uh, pH up in there, so. That's uh, 9 p.m. on the Friday. All right, so 9 p.m. on Friday, and it's going down. I put pH up in here last time, and it's still going down. Huh, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to put more pH up in here. Uh, so I pulled the Taurus Hydro out, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm starting with a new res. Uh, the reason why is my plants look like they're about on their last leg. So, um, yeah, that's not good. Uh, plants are looking not very healthy. Uh, I have another video log of what the plants look like. You'll have to go over there to check it out. It's in the 2x4 grow section, right? Because this is the 2x4 reservoir. Not good. Uh, Saturday, November. 28th in the 5x5. Five five. This thing is not staying above 5.8. Gonna put some more pH up in here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is um, Saturday, November 28th. Uh, I did the res change. I didn't put the Taurus Hydro in overnight because I didn't want anything to go crazy overnight. It's sitting at 6.2. So, in with the Taurus Hydro, okay? We'll uh, come back, like I said, 8 a.m. on Saturday. Let's see what happens in the future. All right, it is Saturday, and it is 11 a.m. Let's get this in here, see what's going on. Okay, all so I'm gonna put some more pH up in here at 11 and go from there Saturday oh snap this one oh finally I go to check it and it's not um, it's 
not out of range. So that's cool, first time. All right, so no additives, no nothing on Saturday at 11 a.m. 5 p.m. Saturday. Let's see what this is reading. Well, it's promising. It's not below 5.8, I don't think. Uh, maybe it is. Eh, maybe it is. <laughs> All right, well, gonna put a dash of pH up in here. Let's go check the other one. Friday, 5 p.m. on the 28th of November. So this is, seems like, just 5.79, I'm okay with that. And uh, yeah, another time where I'm not having to put any in here. November 28th, the Friday at 9 p.m. That's dropped below the 5.8, so it, I know it was just barely before. Oh yeah, in the sixes, I'm gonna add some more to that one. 9 p.m. Friday, 28th, 5.89, still dropping. But I'm not gonna add anything now. Sunday, November 29th, 9 a.m. Sunday, November 29th at 9 a.m. It has stabilized. So I did put some in the last time because uh, it would drop below, but it's staying just below the 5.8, uh, but this is 9 a.m. All right, so Sunday, 29th, at 8 p.m. All right, so it's the Sunday, the 29th, at 8 p.m. And yeah, within range, so I'm not going to be adding anything. November 30th, Monday morning, 6.30 in the morning. Below the rate. This one is in range. Sweet. Not have to put anything in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday, the 29th, and it is 2.30 p.m. I've been busy doing other things. I haven't really been in here to check, and it is stable. No adding of uh, chemicals required. All right, all right, all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Monday, the 29th of November, and, uh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 8.30 on Monday, September 30th. I have not put anything in for pH uppers or downs, and it's uh, staying within range. Finally, 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 finally. Two units later, and uh, staying in range. So... Um, it's only been a full day in this reservoir that I have not put nutrient or haven't put uh, uh, pH up. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it is the 30th of November at 8 p.m. and uh, still in range here. All right, it's Tuesday. Um, December 1st and it is 9 p.m. in range again December 2nd Tuesday first 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 December 1st at 8 p.m. 9 p.m. right for bed anyways and it's still within range all right, ladies and gentlemen, bye for now. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday, November, uh, December 2nd, and uh, I'm about to do a res change. So uh, I just wanted to get a reading here in range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the unit. I'm going to get the res change in, get it up to six-ish area, and then throw the unit back in. More updates later on the 2nd of December. 2nd of December, early morning here, 6.30. Um, this one has dropped below range again, man, come on, pain in the butt, got to put some pH up in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the reservoir is full and is, um, circulating and all that good jazz. Okay, so it is low, so I'm going to bring it up to six before I bring my, uh, put my Taurus Hydro back in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the pH is at in range. It's uh, just over 6.1. Uh, I've dropped the uh, perfect pH Hydro in there, and this is Wednesday, fresh res change, December 2nd. All right, December 2nd, which is a Wednesday, a uh, fresh res change today, pH'd it up, it's in range. Will not be adding anything. All right, December 2nd, in the two by four uh, reservoir at 4.30 p.m. So, it's doing all right. I did put in some the last time, but not this time. All right, so it's 4.30 uh, on December 2nd, res day change, and it's in range here. Uh, did the res change this morning at 6 a.m., and now it's 4.30 p.m. So I uh, added the pH up during the initial res change, got it within range through... Uh, Threw the uh, unit in, and now it's been a f well, it's, you know, a bunch of hours since 6 a.m. It's now 4 p.m. And uh, yeah, all right. It is Wednesday, uh, December 2nd, and it is 9 p.m. I'm about to uh, shut this down for the day, and uh, yeah, in range. No need, no need to add anything. If I had to guess, in the morning, this is going to be out of range. Man, oh man, this one is not staying as closely in range as the other one. Let's go look at the other one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 5x5 five five tent. Whoa, 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 why? Why is this so low? This has been good. Clearly, I have to put some pH up in here. <laughs> Man, all right, well, I'm going to keep trying this, but this uh, Taurus Hydro uh, Perfect pH is not so perfect. I'm down well below, and like 4 o'clock this afternoon, it was fine, the previous video. So, pH up, here we go, again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here, I have taken quite a bit of videos. I think I count, when I put them into iMovie, it was 55 different updates, Okay. Um, after this last segment you just seen, uh, the 5x5 was well below. I took it out, I put the pH, I got it the pH in range, and I was fine. The other unit started to go out of range again, and I've given up. Um, like I said, without these units, I put in less pH up and down. That's not what this unit is supposed to do. Um, so... I've reached out to the company once again, and uh, their chemist is looking at it. I still haven't got this. At the time of me doing this edit of this video, today is Christmas Eve. They have sent me out another unit, a 70-gallon unit, to try. I haven't tried it. Uh, I don't have any hydroponics going right now because I'm starting uh, a breeding uh, video series, and I'm all in soil. I haven't tried it. 
their chemist haven't, hasn't got back to me. I gave him all the chemicals I was using, all the nutrients. I've given him all the labels. I've given him everything. He's got the website. He has everything. Still haven't heard back from him. <sighs> Moral of this story is uh, this product, as it sits now with Green Planet Nutrients, there is no way in heck I'm going to use this and leave for two to three days. And that was the whole point of this. Not going to happen. Won't be able to do it. So, uh, at the end of this, uh, I'm saying that uh, I would not recommend this, especially if you're using Green Planet Nutrients. Maybe a different nutrient would work, but I don't know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to sign off now on this video. Like, subscribe, and do all that jazz. Uh, if you stayed here this whole time, you've seen the, the evidence, the, the data, and that's it for now. All right, ladies and gentlemen.